Hello everyone and welcome to TJ's Desk. Today I plan on showing you guys how to share media between your Windows 10 PC and your PS3. So first things first is we're going to need some software. So I like to use this uh, PlayStation media server that I found on SourceForge.net. The one I'll be using today is PlayStation media server version 1.90.1 .1, set up full 64.exe 54.4 megabytes so let's go ahead and download that and I'll see you guys when it's done okay we're all done downloading let's go ahead and install yes I agree I want to install in English next I agree this is where I wish to install it to. There we go. Let's create desktop shortcut and run PS3 Media Server. Now before we go anywhere with this, let's go Windows X, Control Panel, Network and Internet, Network and Sharing Center, Change advanced sharing settings. And for me, my network is private, so I'll be going to the private section. If you are on a guest or public network, you'll be doing this in the guest or public section. So what you want to do is make sure network discovery and file and printer sharing is turned on. Both of mine are, so I can cancel out. If they are off, Turn them on and click save changes. Now we have this open, no renders were found. Let's go over here. Now I'm going to make sure everything is the way it's supposed to be. So this is all so customized to me because I don't believe I fully uninstalled it. Usually this will say zero. I have it set to one gigabit because that's how fast my ethernet connection is. Now we're going to the navigation and sharing section or navigation and share settings. You go down here. This is where you add your folders, uh, the ones you wish to share. Right now I have TJ's server on drive E set up. And you also want to make sure that that folder is also set up to be shared. So let's do that. So if we go over here, I got my TJ's server. That's the file that is currently being shared. I want to open that up, go to properties, and go sharing. If we look right here, this should be saying shared right here. If not, you want to go to sharing, and you want to make sure everything here is read the way it should be. For me, I have everyone and anyone on my home uh, server will be able to read, but not write, because I don't want let's say a little brother, a parent, or anyone else to be deleting stuff. I want to make sure I can be the only one modifying these files. So I am the owner and I can, but no one else can write, meaning they cannot delete, change, or anything. That's good. Now go to advanced sharing settings. This lets you click share if you want to share this folder. If I go no and apply, Yes. Now it says not shared. Now if I do this again and click share, number of simultaneous users, I'm going to move this down to about five. And now it says shared. So sharing path is still the same and we're good. Now let's close you out. Now let's go back to the PSD media server. Now that we're back here, let's go over to the transcoding se section where it lets you fill around with a lot more uh, transcoding options. So for me, my PS3 and my TV can do all the coding themselves. They do not need help via transcoding. So I have everything turned off. But if you were in the section, this is your buffer size right here. And down here is one of the bigger things. 
if you're if either of your devices are connected via Wi-Fi, you're going to want to select wireless. If both are connected via Ethernet, you want to select wired. And if you're more highly tech uh, savvy, if you know what you're doing and you know how you want everything, you can go through here and select what quality. This is more for fine tuning for those that know what's going on. But if you don't know and you click automatic, the server itself will pick which one is best for your system. For me, I'm connected via Ethernet, so I'm a wired connection. And once you've done everything, you're going to want to hit save. You want to go over to logs. And when you're in logs, you want to make sure that it says configuration saved. And once it does, you're good. And then you can either restart or quit. I like to quit the server. I'll drag the shortcut over here for you guys. And then let's reopen it. There you go, the server is reopened and it's searching for renders. Okay, everyone, let's turn that PS3 on and see if she connects. So if the PS3 does connect properly, you'll see that this X turns into a check mark and it will show up down here. Oh, there it goes. PlayStation 3 is now a media render and there is now a giant check mark saying that everything is connected and good to go. Now if I go over to my cam and I go over here to videos, it should show up. And there we go. PS3 media server and I click that. There is the disk and there is its folders. I don't want to go into the videos. And there we go. Everything is now connected and working and I'm able to share media between my Windows 10 computer and my PS3. And hopefully it's the same situation for you. So if you like this video, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to share. If you did like this video or if you have any tips, tricks, any comments or uh, suggestions for uh, next videos, let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to check the description for a link to this software. And as always, I will see you later.